trying to think. Anything in the room we could use to reach that other fuse? Can we wait to reach it somehow? Excuse me, Ed. What's up? What do you? Th Three slots, but two fuses. Where's the third? I've looked everywhere in this room, but I can't find it. Hey, Ray. What's up? I'm out. These fuses look like custom-made jobs. They aren't something you'd buy in a hardware store. If there's a third fuse, this room is the only place we're gonna find it. Alright, uh, Ray. Maybe Ray's got some. With some urban powers. Can't quite reach it from here. Oh, the pipe. There we go. I can touch it, but not quite pull it back. Well, there's only one possible solution for that. And that is duct tape. The answer to Sorry, everything. Ray, what's up? Could you come here for a second, please? Good here, the duct take tape. This. All right. The answer to all life's mysteries. Duct tape. Pipe with tape. Pipe with tape on the fuse. Get it. Got it. Fuse. Okay. Bam. The fuse won't fit. It won't fit. Oh, it's bent. There. Oh, number three. Number two. On. Okay, I just plugged in three right there. So, middle one is going to be three. Three. And Ed. It's number one. Go there. Anna, take a double close look, just be sure. Okay, so one. So it's one, three, two. And you use the last one right there. Now, Anna, your turn. So I want three, one, three, two, two, one, three, three. Oh, oh. Gotcha. I'll take care of him. You two need to finish what we came here to do. Thank you. It's your turn now, Anna. You have to open it, and then we'll make the decision together. Ed, I appreciate everything you've done for me. I couldn't have done it without you. But my uncle wanted me here for a reason. Hmm. I don't trust Ed. Ed's being a little odd. And he's got the gun. Accepted. Welcome, Anna Castanella Morales. Enter key phrase. It says it needs a key phrase. Your uncle holds the key. Your uncle must have believed that it was something you would be able to remember. 
You need to think back. The cemetery, your childhood, the last time you spoke to Dr. Morales. There must be something. Something you may have forgotten, but you can get it back. You just have to find it. Find it. Uh-oh. The hell? I fell so far. She Come here, you! This is Mama! She's gone, Anna. She's with the other angels. Cry if you like. No one cares. Uh, hi. Dante, get your hands off my daughter. What have I done? Wait, what? It's my uncle Angelo's headstone. He died before I was born. So her uncle killed her father. Angelo Angelo Key Morales Falto. My My No, not the flutters. Is oh, there's something. Okay, it's not very well lined up, is it? Uncle holds the key. That is not lined up at all. It's like nothing there. <laughs> Back up. Um, Try that again. Is there any way to position this or move it? Well, looking at the tombstone, if we shift everything a little bit, just think of what it would be if it did work. So, if if we everything would be slid down a little bit to the left. No. Unless I can move to it somewhere else, but there's nothing else is interactable. Except for that. Oh, this this stuff is actually. Father. Dante, that one looks like it's probably the right one. Okay. 
Okay, so that would be that one. That one lines up. I didn't write it down, so let's see what it is. So enter it correctly. Man, my book's getting full. Okay, so T T E P R O M E T O. T E Prometo, that must be foreign. For shits and giggles, let's try the mother too. Just for shits and giggles. Well, that one doesn't line up, so it's definitely the other one. So. T Prometo, that's probably like I would like a quesadilla or something. T Pro Mito. T Prometo. T Prometo. Prometto. Welcome, Anna Angel. Video file. Video is ready to play. You got it? Yes. Open it. There's a video from my uncle. My father. Your father? I need to watch it. All right, but don't do anything afterward. We need to talk it through. Would you let me be alone for this? I... okay. Anna? Let me back in as soon as the video is over. <laughs> oh, God. Display video. Alright, let me get some, let me get some lubricant and some towels and we're gonna watch this shit. I am a weak man, Anna. I failed you. I failed your mother, and perhaps I have failed the world as well. Your mother, I loved her very much. And though she knew she shouldn't, she loved me back. The man you called your father, he knew. He always knew. He took out the anger he had for me on you, and when I tried to protect you, I went too far. I had to leave, to hide. The police suspected I had something to do with his death, and... I... I was a coward. I broke my promise to you, Anna. It was a lie. When you needed me most, I ran away. But I could not run away far enough to escape my sins. I'm being followed. I know they want resonance, and I know they mean me harm. I do not think I will live very long past this day. My last act was to be to put an end to my research. But as I put my finger to the button, I realized that I could not do it. I was too old, too weak, and too corrupt. This power, resonance, could save the world, or it could destroy it. This is as poisoned a legacy as any I have given you, Anna. The choice is yours, to save resonance or to destroy it. I hope you will forgive me, my Anna Angel. Anna? Anna, what did he say? Let's talk about this. Can you just open the bars? Hmm. Anna, let me in. We can make this choice together. You don't can't. have to do it alone. We can't destroy this technology. Why? Humanity can use it. We can fulfill our potential. This is our future. We Anna, please open the bars. No! Stop! Anna? Let me back in as Wait, soon what? as the video is over. Ugh. Ugh. Suck it, Ed. It's like he's coming too. What do you want with the resonance research? 
Ugh. 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 The fuck? Answer the question. What's your plan, detective? You hit me, you asshole! And I'll do it again if you don't start answering questions. Who do you work for? The Aventine City Police Department. You're not smart enough to have planned this all out on your own. Flattery will get you nowhere. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. How long have you been planning this? Planning what? Don't play dumb. You've been manipulating us to get at the vault. I've been helping you. Did you kill Javier Morales? I should ask you the same thing. Why are you here? Are you really doing all this for just a story? Don't change the subject. So, what is the plan, detective? What do you want with the resonance devices? I came here to destroy them, same as you. Is it money? Selling them off to the highest bidder? If I cared about money, do you think I would have become a cop? Are you a terrorist? Stop it. My head hurts too much to laugh at your cat piss detective work. Then explain that note. What note? The note we found. Last night, in the baseball field, you dropped a note. The reporter is following you. Get rid of him. Was that from your boss? Worried I'd figure it all out? If I were a bad guy, you figuring things out would be the least of my worries. Check my shirt breast pocket, unless that's too complicated for you. It's the letter I dropped. You didn't read all of it. It's from a friend of mine, five years ago. A reporter followed him around for a while, saying it was for some bullshit day in the life of a policeman story. Turned out it was for an expose. Unceremoniously outed the poor bastard without warning or permission. Ruined his career. No commendations, no promotion, no nothing. You know the way things are these days. No one wanted him on their squad. He'd been a high flyer too. That's why he went along with the story. He quit one day. Vanished. Think he's up north somewhere. I still keep it close. He was a good... A good friend. So, you're... Maybe you didn't understand the moral of my story, Raymond. It's no one's damn business but my own. Now, untie me? This doesn't change anything. That letter wasn't the only unexplained note we've come across. That's true. Found the Morales note. Explain the note from Dr. Morales with your name on it. Why would he call you out by name? I don't know. Maybe he didn't. Maybe it was planted. So your argument is that someone went out of his way to set you up? Out of his way. For what purpose? Out of his way. I'm waiting. Out of his way. That's it. What? Why didn't I see this before? Someone did go out of his way. Far out of his way. What do you mean? Come on, Jimmy Olsen. Connect the dots. Figure out the story. So Tell me what you're thinking. Someone went out of his way. Anna, open these bars. Someone Let me in. Anna, please. Who went out of his way? Hmm. Try harder. When did someone go out of their way? And how can I show they went out of their way? Bennett's letter, death threat, Morales' note. Pipe with tape, raised smartphone. What's in this? Who? Hmm. No, come on. When did someone go out of their way? Out of their way. Subway map? There must be a clue on the map here. Right. I don't see anything right away. Keep thinking. Someone went out of their way. Way out of their way. Way. 
right. Ed's Ed's train station is not even anywhere near the. She wouldn't have been on his train. That's right. Ed and Anne are on the same train, yet Ed lives way out of... Ooh. Ed told me that he and Anna met on the subway on their ways to work. There is no way Ed would be riding the same subway as Anna in the mornings unless... Unless he was going out of his way to insinuate himself into the life of the only person who could open the vault other than Dr. Morales. Ray, untie me. Anna, please open the bars. No, stop! Anna! <laughs> You shot her! Ray, close the door. No, what? <laughs> you shot her! Come on. Ray, close. Damn. <laughs> I can't believe she's... This is your fault. My fault? You knocked me out, tied me up. I could have done something. God damn it, he used my gun. Well, maybe if you hadn't been acting so shady to me, I wouldn't have had to... I'm gonna kill you right after I kill Ed. No one's killing anybody. Not again. Why are they saying you blew up that lab, Bennett? What? And why are they saying you killed a girl? Who was saying these things? The Chief. We were in the middle of a briefing, business as usual. The Chief gets a phone call and suddenly she's putting a bounty on your head. You and your journalist pal. He's no pal of mine. And this is bullshit. Somebody must be pulling the Chief's strings. A girl? They said you killed the science guy's niece to keep her quiet about you blowing up the lab. How did they find out so fast? So it's true? Of course not, but something weird is definitely going on here. How'd you find us? I tracked Mr. Abbott's cell phone. But I haven't called anyone. I can track it as long as it has that SIM card in it. Reg, you know I didn't do those things. Tell me, how do I know that? Um... Blackout. Reg, when that lab blew up, I was with you. We were on that stakeout all night, shooting the shit. You know I couldn't have had anything to do with it. I know, but I don't understand. It's this case. The lab, the vault. I don't have time to tell the whole story now. But it ends with Morales' assistant, Ed, killing Anna Castellanos and stealing a new super weapon called Resonance. Super weapon? We've got to find Ed, and we've got to do it fast. It's bad, Reg. Help us. I got orders. Remember what I said the other day? Sometimes you got to make your own orders. <sighs> I can cover your tracks for a while, but the Chief's got everyone out looking for you. What's with this Chief? She's been acting weird ever since she started trying to keep Bennett and me from staking out that post office in Edgetown. That stakeout is somehow connected to this resonance stuff. How's that? Um... Because of the alleyway door. That shifty-eyed guy we saw in the stakeout was also after Resonance. Shifty-eyed guy? Yeah, the guy who stole Tortoise's files on the vault. The guy in the security cam picture. Yeah. That's no coincidence. No. I followed it up, though, and I just found some Oriental lady. Oriental is not... She gave me a paper swan. An origami crane? Whatever. Well, then you're going back there. Why is that? Because just before the Chief sent me out looking for you, 
I found an origami crane on my desk. I had no clue where it came from or why it was there, but now... I'll keep the chief off your backs. You two get over to Edgetown. Wait a minute, who's giving the orders around here? The one of us who isn't a wanted man. One more thing. Mr. Abbott, you keep that fancy phone around, you won't make it half an hour. Ditch your SIM card and use mine. They won't be looking for it. Thanks. Call me if you need help. Reg. You're welcome. We stick together, got it? Is this gonna be a buddy cup thing now? Yeah, <laughs> you're the naive, annoying one. Edgetown? I'm not gonna go in there without more backup than a sleazy hack with pretensions to, to grandeur. Hey you! What's up? Okay, let's uh... This is where that mope hides out, and that Chinese lady. I just need to remember the secret knock. Secret knock? What is this, some kind of clubhouse? Wait, it's uh... Okay, two, one, three. Two, one, three. Nothing. Why? That's the right door. Maybe it's more than one door. The door is 11. 2, 1, and 3. Does that have any connection? I don't think so. Well, some reason the code isn't working now. This good. Is, this game's been pretty good about pixel hunting. It's had very minimal pixel hunting. Torgami bird. Something around the paper. Haiku. Maybe this is a clue. Once four. Now two stands. To open d door, breaking mark, and seek advice. One four two. Once for now to stand. Maybe one four two. Let's go. There we go. Wait, are you sure we're not walking into a parlous situation here? Parlous? Why the hell do you talk like that? Come on. <laughs> Detective Bennett, Mr. Abbott, according to... Ray